Everybody wave at the bookcase. It is Harold Osmer, West Hills Wood. We have some ocean-themed bookcases this time around. Two of them. Be sure to like, subscribe, do it now while you're thinking about it. And we had some nice cabinet material to go for this uh, project. Uh, there's a consolation room at uh, Sheriff Station, local Sheriff Station, and they uh, want to put some books and things in there for people who are under duress and stress and whatever. And we work through a charity, and so here we go. They wanted a ocean-themed bookcases to go in here. So there's our sides, and that's our uh, top piece, our main top piece. Now this whole thing has to go over an existing mini fridge. So there's one of those small refrigerators there, and this has to uh, go over that. And uh, so that's what we did. That was the only real requirement, and they wanted it to look ocean-y, because they have a mural that's going on to the wall there. They'll have a big grand opening at some point. So we attach this with some uh, dowels and holes, easy enough. Then we're measuring for the back. Now the, the, the width on the back always will vary just a little bit because the, the rabbits will be cut at a, uh, irregular depth, let's call it. You know, I mean, it'll be consistent along the length, but there you go. I didn't have enough material in a single piece to do the back, so I stuck some together. Here you can see there's three pieces stuck together. And if I locate my shelves properly, you will not see those seams when we're done. And guess what? I located my seams properly. So you can't see them. There it is. All right, so here's the side. Now we're going to put some shelves in here. The easiest way, these are non-adjustable shelves. So we cut this piece of plywood there um, to set this thing in place. And then I can do this on the other side. It'll be located in the exact same location on the other side. So our shelves will be level. And that's the easiest way to go about doing this, especially since they're going to stay in place. They're non-movable. And clearly we have three shelves. And if you look on that one that's nearest to us, you can see the seam from the board that you will no longer see now from the front. And here you go. Your shelf should come just behind the trim on the front. It just looks better that way. These are solid pine shelves and a solid pine on the bottom. And here it is. Clearly this one, uh, we're clamping everything together and uh, putting down the trim work on it. And we finished with a nice clear on all the wood. So it's that bright pine wood. And we painted the black, or the back, that lovely blue. Oh, that's terrific. I sure liked it. Here we go, quick tour. That cabinet material is nice white, so it'll be durable, easy to clean, whatever else. And it has kind of a seascape sort of look to it, but it's just not wavy enough. Well, we know the guy that'll fix it. So, we go over to the machine. We have CNC machine. And I cut out some waves. Now, this is the top wave. It's a big breaker. Goes on the top, in the back. It's kind of strange on a machine, but anyway, that took part of changing this into this. See, we made other waves for the backs here. And we also put that big crashing wave at the very top. And in the end, we have a wavy bookcase. Look at that. <laughs> hey, it surprised me too. I never know. I really never know until I see it, and then there it is. So this other bookcase is designed to go over an existing cabinet in the same room as the other one, and it has to fit above the cabinet and below a television that's on the wall there. Okay, um, it's what we do. You know, I went out and measured these things myself. Pocket holes are great for putting these kind of things together, any kind of plywood assembly that you're doing. Especially if you're going to put some solid wood framing on the front, it helps hold everything together. It works extremely well. Very handy. Yeah. And you can see there, they match up great. There's a nice flat head on those screws too, so when they go in, they, they don't spread anything out. Of course, you do have to align it, and since I'm a one-guy shop, 
you do need some extra hands now and then, and that's what all the clamps are for. Man, it works just fine. I've done this a time or two. So, here we go. Make sure it's straight. There we go. We get the front on there. Now you need to add some strength because this thing is fairly wide at about 60 inches I think it is and you need to get some strength on there. You can't just leave the plywood because it will bend over time and you can't have that. That's just not good. So we're not going to allow it to bend. We're going to put some solid pine on there and we screw down the back on it to hold everything together and it should be sturdy enough for the projected uh, load that it's going to have. This is not a library type of thing but there will be books and whatever else on here. And it's all three quarter inch um, plywood. So that works out well. It's very sturdy. Should be a great, a great addition to the library over there. Ooh, let's do a flying tour. And we needed it to match the cabinets that they already had. And I think I did. Here it is in place. And you never know. I mean, I, I did the measurements myself, so I know what size it needed to be to go in place where it needed to ultimately wind up. But you just don't know until you put it in place. And we hit it, yeah. We hit it right on. It fit perfectly. Even the back support piece catches on the back of the cabinet, so there's nothing going to tip over. And there's the other one in the corner. The wavy case. And they'll load it up with different books and whatever through the charity. And we called in the captain and there you go. It's sheriff approved. How about that? It is Harold Osmer, West Steel's Wood. Be sure to like and subscribe. Send beer.